I think we're all aware of how bad our state looks with graduation rates. I think we're also aware of how high the dropout rates are. Follow me as I talk a little bit about some bills we've already passed this year. We've passed some incentives for fire sprinklers. That means that we think it's good that we have fire sprinklers in place, and I think many of us supported that, if not all of us. And what did we do? We gave incentives to show that. We also, just last week, I believe, passed an incentive for the film industry. We think that's good to come to our state to grow our economy, so we gave them incentives. It showed where we think our priorities are and where the importance is. This bill right here will give an incentive to our high school juniors and seniors. It will reward them for doing what they ought to be doing anyway, and that's graduating our schools, but unfortunately many fall by the wayside. What this bill will do, it will allow the State Department of Education to implement a program, the Palmetto Early Graduation Reward Program. We're going to let them administer it. We're going to, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to let the department administer it, and what we're asking them to do is to provide student scholarships worth up to $2,000 if we've got a kid basically graduate after their junior year. That's after six semesters. If they graduate midway through their senior year, we're going to, get, we're going to reward them with $1,000. Now, I know many of y'all, this is a tight time in the budget season, and many are wondering where the fund's going to come from. The funds will come from the money, excuse me, follow me on this, we have base student costs of about $2,500 in our state. We also have state funding of about $4,800. We'll round it down, just call it $4,000. So the money is there, folks, for this to happen. Because follow me here, if the child is not in the classroom, one, that's good, they've graduated early. They're moving on to their vocation. They're maybe studying abroad. They're maybe going on to advance their education in higher education. The money our state saves is we're not having to send that 4000 to fund that child. That child has done what he should do and actually did it earlier. And so we're going to reward him for that. There are other states that currently are doing this and they're having great success with it. This is something, again, I come up here a lot of times with some bipartisan amendments. I think this is something education doesn't have an R or a D behind it. What this amendment has is it has you going back to your district, your teachers, your students, your constituents, and telling them, you know what, I want our kids to graduate, and by George, if they do it early, we're going to incent them to do that. And oh, by the way, it's going to also save our state money. It's that simple. I'll be happy to answer any questions, though. If, it, I see where you're thinking. You're thinking this is going to hurt our teachers that the classrooms will be full. Right. I'm viewing it the other way. I'm coming from a school district where we can't get a bond referendum passed to help our overcrowded schools. This is a way that can help accommodate that. If some kids leave early, we might free up and not have to be out in those portables. We might not have to go back to the taxpayers and say, we need more money for another school. We're encouraging our students to graduate, go on to college, go be producing citizens. Okay. Thank you. Ben. Mr. Haygood. Representative Ballantyne, so if I understand correctly, this provides an incentive for early graduation. Yes, sir. And it would not cost the state money Correct. because you're reducing the cost of, uh, of education by having per, the per pupil cost because the student's no longer there. You, you get this, yes, that's right. And you're also providing the student uh, scholarship or funding towards some form of education, Correct. further education. Which the State Department of Education will get to implement and determine what the criteria right. would be. So your concept, which I think is an, an exceptional concept, is to provide some incentives to uh, to graduate early and to go go on further with your education, but you're leaving the details to the Department of Education. That's exactly right, Mr. Hagan. And has this been successfully uh, employed in some other states? It has. There are other states that are doing it. I mentioned Texas. That's it. they're big. Let's uh, focus on them. They're obviously ranked higher than we are in rankings, and they have seen an improvement in their system. So, so we're encouraging graduation. We're reducing costs at schools. We're encouraging further education be it technical uh, or higher education, um, and we know that this has been successful in other states. That is absolutely correct. I would, I would say, Mr. Haygood, that the vote that we're about to take would show the citizens of our state, as well as the students, that we value education, that we want our children to graduate, we'll help them if they want to graduate early, we'll save our taxpayers money by doing that, and that's what we get to take home, and that doesn't have an R or a D beside it, if you ask me. And we're, set, we're making a policy statement and a funding decision here, but we're leaving the details to, to those who are professionals 
uh, and deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis. The Department of Education, yes, sir. I thank you for this uh, amendment. I think it's excellent. I plan on supporting it.